hello hello to all of my beautiful subscribers welcome back to my channel so let me finish all these signs which one we on we on aries okay so i'm on rising and no snow spirit guys for aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Road. Someone wants to make it up to you, Aries, and prove to you that they're not like everyone else. All righty. Tell somebody don't put their foot in their mouth, okay? Because people are famous for putting their foot. Oh, shit. People are famous for putting their foot in their mouth. When it comes to showing their love or proving people wrong, I dream of you consistently that it drives me insane to not be with you. <clears throat> mm -hmm, I can relate. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Spirit guys, what messages do we have for my beautiful Aries? This weather is changing, y'all. This is the weather I like. Okay. Summer baby, summer game. Let's go. Summer gay, all my summer babies in a building. Okay, I'm 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 over spring. I'm ready for that summer vibe. Come on, spring, what you gotta say? So we have the eleven house of friendships, humanitarian pursuits, as well as personal network. Technology and innovation also exist within this zone. Revolutionary ideas define your role within society, Aquarius energy. So some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? Or you have Aquarius in your chart. Or you can have Aquarius in your 11th house, okay? This is all about pursuing your dreams, your goals. What is it that you're wanting to take a role in in society, okay? How you show yourself to the world or how you present yourself. It's all about character. We have, I hear from the truth to have my pain for you, Okay? Hmm. So this person might need to change their friends group, who they who they affiliate themselves with, and who they interact with too, too, too. Okay, because it's causing this person to hide their true self. We got only I can change my life. No one can do it for me. Now that you are the chain breaker to your life, don't ever feel weighed down by making better choices for your life. And then we have throat chakra, the ability to speak and communicate clearly. Yes. Yeah, so someone is needing to speak up or they're needed to stand in their truth okay someone could also be talking to their friends about you okay trying to get some good advice surrounding this connection between the two of you okay so this person had been talking to their friends or you had you could also be dealing with a capricorn okay which is driven patient strategic determined disciplined responsible okay so this person is taking responsibility is now okay let me slow down this person is now taking accountability account of accountability Vera. accountability okay and they're now standing up to their friends whoa somebody standing up to their friends about you that's what i'm talking about okay somebody is standing up to their friends capricorn rules the tim house for career and status so your so your career is changing as well as your status within whatever business that you're in, okay, whether you're getting a promotion, you're becoming a boss, HR, however that works for you, okay? I didn't want to use too many of these cards, so let's get into the messages. It feels good out there, y'all. I cannot wait till the sun comes out. Someone is juggling a big opportunity, okay? Really say stop being indecisive about this huge opportunity that's coming your way and stand in your power and take on that road, okay? Someone can also see you as like major, like you're something that's major or you're about to be the next big, next big, next best thing. Thank you, Spirit. Nine of Cups. Okay, blesses. Blessings, gratitude, wishes being fulfillment, happiness, peace. Okay. Enjoying your me time, your alone time. Enjoying your own energy with this nine of cups. Page of swords. So people could be talking about how blessed you are. Okay. 
when people can see the gratitude in you, Aries, you have a lot of people watching you, okay? As you take center stage or as you take control of your life is what I'm getting. So people can also be looking at you as like you're blessed. Somebody also said, I just heard somebody say they're grateful to have you or they're grateful to then have, like, grateful for you to be in their life. What is this? Throw the card flipped over. Okay, let's see. I don't know why my cards feel sticky. Oh, baby. The Tower, Three of Pentacles, and the Devil. So someone is obsessed with the fact that they want to collaborate with you. Okay, and this person is watching you. They can sit up all night and watch you. Because this person is obsessed with your energy. It's very intoxicating. Okay, this person could also be overindulging with other people. Okay. Here we go with my eyes, man. So someone is sitting up under the influence or could be under the influence of other people, but you are in this nine of pentacles. So your energy is very much so intoxicated. <sighs> you got somebody in a mental prison about taking action towards you with the Knight of Swords because you still got this person blocked. And they feel as though you don't want nothing to do with them. The nine of pentacles, I'm going to take it out. Matter of fact, let's reshuffle this week. I'm going to reshuffle because I don't need nobody saying, oh, you taking our cards and putting cards back? No, we ain't doing that. What's this devil energy? That's like somebody said, I got to have you with this nine of cups. Somebody is obsessed with you, child. They got to have you, Aries, with this nine of cups. Yeah, the two of cups. I'm telling you, somebody is obsessed with your energy. They're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with this connection. Okay? You and this person could have had a very close or very tight bond. Because all this person wants is you. They want to establish a relationship with you. And it's going to cause a timer moment in this person's life, in your life, or in a lot of people's lives. Page the swords because this person cannot stop watching you. It's like I cannot. It's like this person like I gotta have her. I gotta have him. I gotta get to them. Yeah, this person is missing you real bad. Look, they missing you real bad. Ace of Cups. This is what someone is planning to do. They're planning to come to you and offer you their love. Ace of Cups. I just heard married. So some of you guys can be getting married. Congratulations. Okay. Some of you guys are also changing your friends group. You're starting to look and pay, you're starting to pay attention to the friends that you have in your circle or the friends that you have around you. You're starting to pay more attention to that. You're actually seeing who's rocking with you and who's against you. Some of these friends could watch you out of envy. Or oh, people, take it where it resonates. Now we got the King of Cups and the Sun and the Knight of Wands. This person is is always in their head, self-sabotaging. It's just negative thoughts that this person play in their head. It's like when they want to make this move towards you or rush towards you, Knight of Wands. And the Sun, it's like this person gets stuck. Eight of Swords. It's repetitive. Give me one second. Please give me one second.
Oh, I'm back, y'all. What's this two of cups? Look, the king of cups and the ace of cups on the crack over there. This person is obsessed with you, child. And they is watching you. This person is sitting, as this person be watching you, they be like, I gotta have you, I gotta get them. That's mine right there. This person be claiming you, child. And y'all not even together. What is going on? This person is like, they gotta have you. And they're talking to their friends about you as well, trying to get wise counsel or trying to get some wise advice. Because this person know they about to cause a time moment. <laughs> Aries, I've been picking that up a lot lately. That these masculines are ready to come back. I'm hearing now. I just heard Trey songs in my head. You ready? Okay. Five of Cups, King of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, the Hierophant. So someone regrets the fact that they left this relationship out in the code. This person knew that y'all had a calling together or a higher purpose. Or oh, this person knows. But they chose to go against it. And now this person is missing you five of cups. And a lot of regret. Because they didn't take action. They decided to just walk away from it completely or overall with the five of pentacles and wands. The communication could even be off between the two of you. Like, it's no communication at all. Five of pentacles, eight of wands. This person is like actually disappointed in their self. Five of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Because this person ain't move when they was told to move. That's why. So this person has to like charge into the game, whoever this King of Wands is. Cause y'all got new love coming in towards y'all. Yep, Eight of Cups, I'm telling you, you had to walk away. You got, this person got to walk away from it. They got to charge into the game. Because all they can do right now is sit and watch you. This person that's saying that they got to have you, that they want you. Okay? Talking to their friends about you. Talking to their friends about this connection that they have with you. Because this person is obsessed with you. With the devil energy. They can't get you off of their mind. That was their eight of swords. Again, seven of ones. It's like this person is being blocked off. Or well, you could have blocked this person. Or this person feel like they're being ignored. I'm telling you, y'all got new love coming in. Yeah, because this person abandoned you. They abandoned the connection, is what I'm hearing. But they still holding on to your energy, I'm telling you, because your energy is intoxicated. This person could be doing a lot of drinking or smoking to numb the pain. Or to get over you. I'm hearing that. I never got over your true feelings. You wish I was standing in the shoes. When it's all said and done. Cause I'm still in love with you. Trophies. I never should have let you go. But it's killing me cause now I know. When it's all said and done. Cause I'm still in love with you. Now the truth is it hurts when I know that you come down. So I let it go. Sorry, I'm not going to keep singing to y'all. Gotta get up and rip. Gotta... I got to hear that song now. Truth is, I'm telling you, Night of Swords, this person want to say the truth is. They want to say something. They want to say something. Man. They want to say it fast. Okay. They like, no, no, no. Take me off block. I have something to say. They're like, you're going to hear what I have to say. This person wouldn't say the truth is. The truth is you. The truth is in the pudding. Okay. You must got that good, good. Yeah, look, the emperor. This king of cups that wants to work on this higher level commitment. 
Okay, because now they listening to their higher self. I the, the most high done got into their ass. Because this person wasn't listening. Page of Swords. This person wanted to do things their way and do it how they want to do it. 15, 15 with the Nine of Cups. And they caused the Tower moment. <clears throat> this person could have got their friends involved. Which made the connection toxic. Because I guess this person was supposed to keep this connection to their self. Like, because when people don't understand the twin flame or divine masculine, well, don't understand the twin flame journey, okay? Or don't understand why you got a higher purpose or calling. 1555, to be with someone, you cannot sit and talk to everybody about it because they're not going to understand they're just only going to give you as so much information of what it is that they know. And it blocks the connection out all the way. Because now you got other people putting their two cents into something that they don't even understand. <laughs> but this masculine is wanting to work on this connection in. Hey, the pinnacle. They want to put in the work. This masculine could have invested somewhere else, or they could have um, took time out to themselves to really see what it is that they want. So this person <laughs> took time to themselves to really ponder on what it is that they want, to really reevaluate what it is that they want. And as this person was sitting, trying to figure out what it is that they wanted, or try to figure out yeah, actually what it is that they want, they was watching you. Person could have also been studying you. So if they was to make a move towards you very quickly or in a hurry or impulsively, this person would know the do's and don't the do's and the don'ts. Okay. So it's like this person is watching you to see what it is that you do like, what it is that you don't like. What makes you guarded? What makes you defensive? Like, this person is watching you before they make a move. Because they want to see what it is that you do and don't like. What makes you defensive? What makes you what makes you pop off with the Knight of Swords? This person is slick, if you ask me. This person could also be trying to see how you communicate with others, communicate towards others. How you treat others. Like this person here. Because they're definitely watching you. It's just this person could be thinking like, okay. I know how this person act. I know how this person is. This person just hoping that you don't switch up on them. Or you don't act differently towards them. Or you don't. Like, you know how you get in a relationship with somebody and they show you one face one way. And then when you get deep into the connection, then, the, then whatever this toxic shit is, it comes out. So this person is just trying to make sure that you actually is the way that you is displaying to them now. Because they're watching you. They want to make sure you're actually this nine that comes energy. Okay? Now, this person know. That you do got a slick mouth with the Knight of Swords, okay? I'm here and talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. So this person know you got a slick ass mouth. The death and the judgment. So something is definitely over. Something is definitely transforming. Okay? In order for this to come back around for a second chance. Or for another chance. <laughs> This person know that you can set your, like, you can stand your ground. This person know that you can defend yourself. Hmm. You might not have as many friends or that many people in your so social setting, okay? This person also could be watching you to see how many people get in your business, how many people you tell your business to. Like, this person is real live watching you to make sure you are 
what you are. Whether this person is watching you on social media, they watching you from a distance, they watching you from afar, whatever it is that you're doing, this person is actually watching you. They're keeping tabs on you. They listening to every word, everything you say, how you say it. Okay. I'm hearing pronunciation. What the heck? Okay, it's rude. I don't know what y'all got going on. What's this? Give me more. Because this person wants this relationship. Two of Cups and the Nine of Cups. That's somebody wanting it, desiring it, and very much obsessed with it. Okay? Because all they can talk about to their friends, to their peers, is your ass. And it's causing this person to have a tower moment. Because these friends could be getting tired of this man that keep talking about your ass or keep saying that they want to be with you, but they're not taking action on They're not busting the move. What's this Knight of Swords? It's definitely this man. I'm telling you, Knight of Wands. This person probably like, all right, should I say something or should I come in like this? This person don't know how they want to come in. They don't know if they should come in like this or they should come in and tell you, I want to take it down. I really want to take it down. This person want both, to be honest. We ain't going to hold you over here. This person wants to talk to you and have sex with you. But they know that you are very defensive right now towards them. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm telling you, the Ace of Cups. This person... They want it all of you. Got me like, ooh, ooh. And when I think about you, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. I'm like, ooh, ooh. Show you, you can get it all. You can get it all. You can get it. I'm telling you, look, the world card. So we got the death, the world, and judgment out here with the hair front. So. What you asked for, what you prayed for. And what you've been crying over, 22, 22, okay, having sleepless nights, talking to God, is about to come in for you. Let's see what this seven of pentacles is. Because this person wants to invest in you. They feel as though that you will be a good investment in their life. They feel as though they can learn from you as well with the page of swords. This person also knows that you don't take no shit either. Mm, 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 mm. You could probably intimidate this person because of the way that you talk. Like, you could probably pop off, or you just got a very slick mouth or a smart mouth. This person sees you as somebody with a smart mouth, but they still want to take a chance. Leap of faith. I'm telling you, they want to take a chance, okay? This person is making their way downtown. What the heck? Walking fast, chasing spies, and I'm on now. Okay, they making their way. Five of swords. They don't care what they got to do, how they got to do it. Anybody that come in between y'all, this person is going to chop their ass all the way out. They're going to be walking off crying. This person know a lot of people is going to be unhappy. A lot of people is not going to be happy for this man or for this woman. But this person don't care. That's the thing. Because this person feels as though they're doing this for them. Because you make this person feel good. Not in the cups. You make this person feel good about their self. Good about trying to fall in love again or being in something new. Because this person wants to fall in love again. I'm hearing that old school song, never fall in love again. You make this person wants to fall in love again. That's that fool in that ace of cups. Okay? This person clumsy because I'm falling in love. You got me tripping, oh, stop it, oh. You got this person clumsy because they falling in love. I'm telling you, it's this goddamn king of cups. So, this is your energy, Aries. Okay? This person also could have a job or they working on themselves. 
or they put more energy and time into themselves because they know when they do make this when they take this action towards you to come in they want to be the best version of themselves and by them watching you you help this person become the best version of themselves there was a lot of things this person had to release let go and surrender to and it could have been very hard for this person because whoever they was around could have had a tight grip on them or this person just had a tight grip on being complacent or too comfortable in certain situations. And now if it's not making them happy, if it's not satisfying them, if it's not really like putting them in a place where they feel good, this person is blocking it out. That's good energy though, y'all. Whether this is you or this, or this masculine, but I'm picking up on this masculine energy, Aries. Okay? But it doesn't really matter. Take it where it resonates. I feel as though Aries, if it doesn't make you feel good, if it don't satisfy you, if it don't make you feel like you're comfortable or you're happy enough, you blocking it out. Because y'all want to have happiness. Y'all want to be complacent. And it's like now, y'all paying very close attention to what doesn't make you happy, what doesn't make you feel good. And y'all shaking shit up and causing tower moments. You like, nah, deuces real quick. Because y'all don't want to go back to that energy to where it's, the, it's so much toxicity that you start to lose yourself again. That's the energy I'm getting. So y'all like, if a relationship, a friendship, or connection, or whatever it is that I want to do in my life that making me happy, I don't want to deal with it. And it's nothing wrong with that because you're always supposed to, excuse my background, okay, it's, it's, it's the kids is not in school, it's spray break. <laughs> But they about to get lit. But I'm trying to hurry up, y'all. Damn, I lost my train of thought. But it's like, that's how it's supposed to be, though. Because you're always supposed to protect your peace. Protect protect what feels good to you within yourself, first and foremost. Okay? Because it's all about you wanting to heal. If you feel like certain friends isn't making you happy anymore or isn't helping you evolve or grow... It's never wrong with cutting them off or removing yourself. 27, 27. Some people think like they going to like stare up some shit if they walk away from something that they outgrown. You supposed to outgrow shit. You supposed to outgrow people, places, and things. You're never supposed to stay in that same energy. That's how things become toxic. Because now it's like spirit is pushing you and guiding you and moving you to something new. Okay, they want you to invest in something new, try something new, embrace something new. So you guys are embracing the new. That's as good. You guys are not afraid to fall in love again, which is a beautiful energy to be into. Because when we've been hurt so much and we've been holding on to past pain, dealing with people, places, and things, friendships, relationships, family members, we tend to block ourselves off from love. And spirit just wants us to stay open to love, stay optimistic towards love. So that way you you could be able to fall in love with yourself again or with someone else. You get what I'm saying? Because a relationship is out here. Somebody is wanting to fall in love again. Somebody is wanting to be in a relationship again. Somebody is wanting to work with somebody and collaborate and invest in somebody again. And it's the person that they sit up and watch all damn bit. Which is causing them tower moments because this person, they can't seem to like get away from you it's like every time they try to pull away from you or they try to get away from you or they try to stop thinking about you or stop watching you this person get pulled right back into you that's why i said your energy is very much intoxicating to this person now it comes to the devil they can't resist you it's like they can't shake you for some reason I don't know why I heard, um, like Mike, we playing basketball. So somebody could have been watching like Mike. Look, and then we have the Empress. The Empress. With the Emperor. Coming together. Working with each other. Investing in one another. We got the Seven of Pentacles. That's at least planting seeds with each other. Being on the same accord. Thank you, Spirit. Because in order for you and this person to come together and be a team... With we and not just I, y'all will have to plant the healthy seeds first. And by you and this person taking time to invest in yourself and working on yourself, 
in order to have your own for yourself is bringing you and this person closer together. So it's like you and this person will have your own. You don't have to worry about this person being codependent on you. Because whatever you're slacking in, this person is going to pick it up. And whatever this person is slacking in, you're going to pick it up. That's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a team. It's not supposed to be one person just doing any doing everything. That's how our relationship stays together and be able to grow together because it's like both of you are putting in the work. Both of you are putting in the effort. Both of you are making it known that this is what y'all want out of a relationship. It's working together to become a we and not just an I. Okay, because some people do become selfish in a relationship and they focus more on themselves than the other person. And that's why the other person go out and they start cheating and flirting and having sex with other people or they start talking to other people unbeknownst to you because you wasn't actually fulfilling the person that you're, you was dating like you should. That's how people start going to other things. They find other things to fill up their time and take up their time because you're not giving that energy to your person. You're supposed to always give that energy to your person. Always reassure and tell your person that you love them. Always give love to your person. Show your person love. Don't ever give your person that one second or that one thought or that one minute to be like, nah, this person talking to somebody else. Nah, this person sexing somebody else. Nah. This person ain't fucking with me like they say they fucking with me. You got to keep your person on their toes when it comes to you. That's how you keep a healthy relationship. I don't give a fuck if this devil is here. This is not giving me bad energy with this devil. I'm here and been about you and I'm still about you. This person want to be about you and only you. And it might come off a little bit toxic or very possessive or obsessive, but it's not in a negative way. It's just to show you that they only want you and only you. So, Aries, buckle up your seatbelts. I'm telling you, this person coming in. Look at this here. Oh, sucky, sucky now. Dun, 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 dun. Look, we got the Knight of Wands going into the star in the Wheel of Fortune. This person is coming in. Okay? Might not be when you want to, but this person coming. Because they want to heal the star card. And they've been praying for this moment. I wish that I could have this moment for life. This person is praying for this moment. This person has been praying. This person has been putting in a petition. I don't know why I heard that. On this moment. Praying for you. This person never stopped praying for you. They want to be in a new cycle with you. They want to experience your love. Your love, your love, yeah. Your love, your love. And this was faded to happen because we got the judgment... Oh, shoot. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm all over the place. And the hair font. Because you and this person have a higher calling together, a higher purpose together. That's supposed to be fulfilled this lifetime. Emperor and the Empress. Of course, if this masculine and the king of cups, you're the queen of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or you could just be any sign. Okay? That's, the, that's embodying the queen of cups energy. Very loving, caring, and nurturing. So... Strap up your, 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 your seatbelts because Spirit is going to send y'all on a ride. Okay? And it's going to be worth it because the nine of cups was there. So make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Peace.